Hey, have you heard scientists say that if uh, only we had access to cheap and easy COVID tests, we could end this pandemic? You know, the kind that you would take every day or every week to know if you're infected? Well, today we're gonna unbox one of the first COVID-19 tests that you can buy for use at home. My name is Antonio Regalado. I'm an editor at Technology Review Magazine, where we're gonna review all the tests that are available. I've been covering the pandemic since February, and I have to tell you, I'm jolly well sick of it, so I hope this works. The test we're gonna be uh, unboxing today is from Lucira, a small company that just went public. Let's see what's in this box. Okay, bubble wrap. Let's see here. Okay, the Lucira Check It, it's called. Just swab, stir, and detect. Laboratory quality results in 30 minutes is what it promises. And it says here, please read the instructions before using, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and see if it's uh, idiot proof. Okay, opening the test. Let's see what we got here. Huh, all right. Uh, number one, test unit. Please insert batteries, sample vial, a couple of batteries, and a swab. I think this is gonna go up my nose. All right, uh, here are the directions. Just four steps according to this. Okay, number one, set up the test. Open the battery door and insert the batteries. So I think that's in here. And open this. Open the battery door and insert, insert. Insert the batteries. Okay, you can see this device has a kind of a little ready light that's on. This is a um, some kind of base station for the test. Uh, let's see. Okay, remove sample vial seal. There we go. Looks like this is the sample vial. Some purple liquid in there. You know what's interesting about this test is that this is a uh, molecular test. It actually looks for the genetic material of the virus that may or may not be in my nose. It looks for that genetic material and it copies it over and over again until the test can see it. So that's the same thing that happens in a lab, except the lab tests that are called PCR, they need to change the temperature uh, in that test really often. They cycle, it's called thermal cycling. But this particular technology called LAMP, you don't need to do that. And that's why it can be run at home. So let's see. Okay, remove the tab. It says gently set it in this base station. Gently set it there. Kind of moves around. I hope that's all right. Okay, now comes the swabbing. Swab both nostrils. For this test to work properly, it is important to swab both nostrils. They give some swabbing instructions. Tilt your head back. Gently insert the swab tip until it is fully inside your nostril. They have a picture of a human being here. The nose, it looks like it's supposed to go right up to kind of where your skull starts and rotate five times in both nostrils. Make sure to roll around inside to collect a good sample. That's crucial because the virus is up here in your nose and you gotta swab it out. All right. Ooh, I should have cleaned my nose before I started. Okay, one, two, three, four. This tickles, five. Step three, stir swab and run test. Insert the swab into the vial until it touches the bottom. Mix the sample by stirring it around 15 times. Okay, touch the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is pretty easy. I think almost anybody could do this. Let's see. All right, discard swab. Snap cap closed and push it down until you hear a click and the thing starts to blink. The little thing will begin to blink and let you know that you did it right. Okay, I'm gonna close this and snap. Yes, success. Blinking light. Okay, this is pretty easy. I think almost anybody could do this. Oops, do not move test unit until 30 minutes is up. So I'll just put that down very gently, pretend that didn't happen, and I'll be back in 30 minutes. Hey, I'm back. Good news, my COVID test is negative. 
Uh, this test here from Lucyra, it has an accuracy of about 95%. That means it catches 19 of 20 real COVID cases. So hopefully I'm not the 20th one that it doesn't catch. Uh, I think the big question for these tests is really whether they're going to help end the pandemic or control the pandemic in the U.S., whether they help us get to work. Uh, at $55, it's a little bit expensive, though. Um, this is not the kind of thing that I would be willing to pay for every day, not even every week. What I am going to do is I'm going to buy one of these or another one, and I'm going to keep it on the shelf. That way, if I feel sick, I'll be able to test myself at home, get a quick answer in about an hour, don't have to go to the doctor, don't have to wait online for a test. So check out our review of all the COVID tests uh, at technologyreview.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.